Well, good morning, everyone. Actually, it's morning in England. That's right. In yeah. Great Britain. Yeah. And it's morning in America. All right. And it would not be in Australia. All right. Yeah. So, anyway, um, I always say a lot of things about nothing <laughs> until people get their notifications because we're live on my Facebook right, right now. I have here Nagy Iskander with me. Hey, yeah. Nagy, let's just walk down here. We're at the yes. mega conference in the United Kingdom. Yes. And we're out here in the lobby, and you can see we'll just walk down here, yeah. and uh, people can uh, get to see. Uh, all these people that are out here looking at uh, the resources right now, it's coffee break right now, yeah. ready before the uh, last session before lunch actually. And uh, so we'll come uh, down through here and uh, you'll see a lot of the people that have gone outside for a little stretch and people browsing around the books here. But Nagy, uh, you actually uh, are from Egypt originally? That's right, yes. So you're an Egyptian? Yes. Living in Scotland? That's absolutely right, yeah. And you have a real burden for people who speak Arabic. Definitely. And you are actually a surgeon. That's right. And your wife's a pediatrician. That's right. But you sort of retired from being a surgeon so you can yes. do real work. Right? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. So, yeah. uh, work on uh, people's hearts. Yes. Now you're a heart surgeon, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's the word of God, really, which we right. need to take to the Arabic-speaking world, Ken. There are about 350 million Arabic-speaking people in the world, and Arabic was one of the original language mentioned in the day of Pentecost. So, on my heart to you mean, you mean it's even more original than Australian? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah Australia was not known at the time. So, it was actually mentioned there? Mentioned in, in, in chapter 2 in the book of Acts. Oh, really? So, it's one I of the... I should know that. <laughs> it's one of the original languages, really. So, uh, on my heart, Ken, really, is to take the message of the creation gospel message that Anthony Genesis proclaims to the Arabic-speaking pe uh, people. And I thank God he opened an opportunity for me, really, to do that on the television programs that's broadcast globally uh, in Arabic about science and the Bible. So you've done uh, quite a number of programs yes. in, in Arabic. That's right. And they're broadcast globally. So if people want to find them, where would they go? Yeah, they go to um, uh, kingdomsad.com. Kingdom? Kingdomsad.com. Kingdom Sad? Sat, Sat, S-A-T. Yes, oh, yeah. Kingdom Sack. Kingdom yes, your Sack. accent. It's great. I, I, don't, have I, I don't have an accent. It's a proper English I don't have an accent. An Egyptian living in, in Scotland. Scotland. No wonder I can't understand you. Oh, I, okay. I speak Kingdom, Kingdom Sat. Sat. Dot com. And Kingdom found, Sat. Dot com. Okay. And the program is called Creation Answers, and there are 80 episodes. In Arabic. In Arabic, and 40 minutes each. The first 20 minutes, somebody interviewing me about DNA or the flood or something like that. Right. And 14 young people are asking me questions which I don't know before they ask. So it was a lively debate and it goes globally. And as a result, I got invitation to go to other countries to do the same program. That, that is absolutely incredible. And you've also been involved in translating ARG materials into oh, Arabic. Oh, yes, there are plenty. And the ARG website into Abs Arabic. Absolutely. We are developing a big website now in Arabic. And uh, hopefully we'll put all the links to the uh, programs because that's one of the programs I did because there are other two. One called The Beginnings or Bidayat, which is three to five minutes. And I'm dealing with one specific issue very quickly for young people, three to five minutes, very concentrated. And we're talking about um, something like natural selection, what it means, is it evolution or not? Things like that. But we, I recorded 160 episodes like this, three to five minutes. And this is available on the Better Life website. So, uh, Better Life website, so explain yeah. how they go to, to yeah. get to that. Yeah, uh, just go Better Life uh, Facebook and then they go to uh, a page called Ask. And in this Ask, they found 95 um, episodes broadcast already and they are working on the rest of the 160 that I have already recorded. Well, well that, is in, that is incredible. Actually, um, I just uh, logged on to my Facebook here yeah. so I can see you and oh, me right. Oh, right. Uh, talking right now. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, look, I recognize someone there from Australia. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's uh, amazing. To uh, Ray yeah. Munro. And yeah. uh, also uh, 
someone from Hong Kong. Look at that. All right, so yeah. people from all over the world yes. are watching you right now. And if people want, if people want to ask any questions, they could do that. I'll, I'll monitor this right. if they want to ask you a question. Good morning from Northern Ireland. Well, that's not well, too far away. No. We're about what, an hour's flight from Northern exactly, Ireland? Exactly, yes. Uh, where we are, we're right, right. here in um, England in West Bromwich. Yeah, actually. and I recorded a walk through the Ark. I am very impressed, obviously, with the Ark project. Yeah, it's an yeah. amazing place, right. Ken. And I recorded an Arabic program walking through the Ark for five hours with Nizar Shaheen from Canada, and he's working on this uh, episodes. There'll be ten episodes, half an hour each, to give us all the answers about how many animals needing to be on the Ark, how Noah put the animals in the Ark, the size of the Ark, all the questions that fill so the mind. So an Arabic walk through the Ark. Exactly. Because I know you've been to the Ark and you've been to the Creation Museum absolutely. on this more than one occasion. Absolutely. Uh, of course, yeah. we, we've worked closely with you for years and years and years. Yes. That would be fantastic to have I, a five-hour walk through the Ark exactly. in Arabic. Exactly, yes. And uh, I just recorded 52 episodes recently in California for another company called El Karma, which is a vine. It's an Arabic satellite station which covers the globe, really, uh, broadcasting on 13 satellites. So it covers the globe, really. And uh, the program is called Creation Factor Fiction. And that is uh, half an hour episodes and 52 of them coming very soon. So people want to get in contact with you because yes. you, know, you, you are the only person I know of that's doing concentrated yes. work on creation apologetics in yes. Arabic and working closely with Answers in Genesis. Yes. And you're doing that full time now. How do they get in contact with you? Yeah, At the moment, I think through the website in, the, in Answers in Genesis in the overseas section, they can get in touch through that. Through the UK, y uh, Europe website. Uh, yeah, uh, no, what I meant is the uh, American website, USA. Okay. Uh, and I'm building the new website for Arabic ministry, and right. that will be ready within two months. So if people go to answersingenesis.org, yeah. and they can uh, go to contact us yeah. and say, I yeah. want this to go to Nagy, N-A-G-Y. 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 And that's Egyptian? It is. Some people say it is a Hungarian name, but uh, I'm Egyptian. So and Iskander is Alexander. So, oh, okay. But I'm not related to Alexander so, the Great. So Nagy Iskander. Yes, yes you are related to Alexander the uh, Great. Through Adam, yeah. Yeah, because we all are going <laughs> exactly. back to Noah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. see? Yeah. So you can tell so, people, yes, I am related to <laughs> Alexander the Great. Yeah, I can claim that. But, um, yeah, there will be lots of um, conferences as well in the Middle East. I visited many countries in the Middle East. And there is a big impact to the Christian message of the creation gospel message. And you've been to Australia too, and, uh, yes, and uh, actually Canada. done some uh, programs in Arabic there. Exactly, uh, yes, and in, in on Australia. air as well, uh, on El Karma and the other satellite stations. Somebody is watching us now from India. Yes. Uh, somebody has said, I'm half Egyptian, half Australian, living in Queensland, Australia. How oh, about wow, that? That's a good combination. And yeah. uh, South Carolina, Nepal, somebody from Nepal. Right. Uh, somebody said, praying for you, Nagy. Oh, thank you, uh, yes. So I tell you what, it's absolutely incredible that the Lord burdened Nagy to do this when you think of the the immense opportunity to yes. reach the Arabic speaking world with yeah. creation apologetics and Absolutely. the message of the gospel which is your heart it's not Absolutely. just a matter of an argument you yeah. want to reach him with the gospel yeah. and Nagy is doing that so again if you want to contact Nagy he's done a lot of TV programs there's a lot of books now yes. uh, in, in Arabic, in Arabic. And, and I'm writing and my Arabic book really called creation under microscope which is tuned to the level of the Middle East people who will understand it uh, slightly better because I consider the culture as well in these books. So, so there are cultural differences. There you, are. You need to understand those. Yes, right? definitely. Do you yes. understand Australians yet? I do. I knew you for Particularly a long time. Particularly after knowing me for, oh, for yes, a long time. Oh, yes, yes. Okay. yes that's, well, that that's is great. Absolutely Maybe right. There's somebody here watching from Wollongong, Australia. All right. How about that? Right. And uh, North Carolina. Yeah. So they got a lot of people here uh, that... Um, are watching us here and of course this will stay on my Facebook and we will actually yes. archive this on our Answers and Genesis That'd YouTube channel as yeah. well. That'd I'm just great. excited that yeah. uh, there is an Arabic ministry now, yes. an Arabic it outreach is. of Answers and Genesis. It's expanding and enormously. You know, think about it, we've got Answers and Genesis in Peru, Answers and Genesis, an unofficial one in Indonesia, yeah. uh, Answers and Genesis in Canada that we just yes. started up and that, that's Wonderful. really starting to take off, exploding actually. Yes. Answers in Genesis in Australia, yeah. uh, Answers in Genesis in Mexico by the end wow. of the year. That's we'll have a full time worker there. Yeah. Answers in Genesis spreading around the world, and yes. Answers in Genesis in Arabic, Arabic yes. uh, through Nagy. And uh, that's a big job getting a lot of those articles translated for the website, isn't it? Yes, but it's great. I love it, yes. And uh, isn't it exciting being here and seeing all these people yeah. uh, here at the uh, AIG? 
conference here, the mega conference, uh, over here in West Bromwich, actually, yes. uh, in England. Yeah. And you can see all the people around the yes. tables. Actually, they're getting ready. They're calling them back in right. uh, for the next session with yeah. uh, Dr. Andy McIntosh. Yeah. But I was looking at the auditorium this morning. It was pretty full. I know. It was amazing. And people were concentrating and wanting to know more and to learn that, more. And there's such a hunger here. A because, lot of young people, yeah, too. Yeah, because they are facing the question every day in the school and in the community. And they need to have an answer. And um, it's great that the, lo the Lord uh, raised the answer in Genesis to give us a biblical, scientific answer, which we need in the modern age. And you think how spiritually dead from a Christian perspective it is yes. here in the United Kingdom. Yeah. And, you know, what, 4.3% yes. attend church now. Exactly. And that, that's all the denominations, 4.3%, down from 50%. Yeah. I warn America, yeah. that's where the American church is yes. heading if Absolutely. we keep going in the same direction. Yeah. And yet, you know what, even for, for the deadness over here, look at the hunger oh, yes. here. I mean, this is a Friday, and that auditorium holds 1,700 people, and yeah. that auditorium this morning was... Yeah. fairly packed exactly. during the day and of course yeah. it increases at night exactly. for this conference. Exactly, and we expect more tomorrow as Saturday is a, Right, Saturday is going to be off, even yeah. bigger day. It's yeah. going to be packed to the gills. I know. We, uh, we need to do that all the time actually, Ken, yeah. here. <laughs> well, I, I tell you what, Nagy, you, you, your passion for this ministry always excites me. Um, I hear somebody saying, we'll be praying for Nagy. What a wonderful work with the Arabic people. Thank you. And that's someone from Australia who's saying that. That's great, yeah. Uh, someone said, AIG is going worldwide. Yay. Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. In, in, it is. In, you know, we get we get phenomenal responses in South America, right? And like AIG Peru is is just phenomenal. Yeah. And they were starting in Mexico, but you know we can go to South America, and now you can go to the universities, yes. you can go to the schools, yeah. And people flock along in big numbers. We got more freedom. Yeah. In, Unfortunately, in, in, in we don't the, have this freedom America. in the West. No. We don't have it in the West. In, it, it, it's sort of disappeared, hasn't it? Yes, yes. And what what need... about when you go to Egypt? What happens there? Yeah, you have freedom inside a church, but you can't uh, go in the streets or, or, or outside right. the church and, and do anything. But the important thing actually, Ken, is to look after the young people. Um, I remember when I went to United Arab Emirates, I met a young boy, I will not mention his name, I got permission to tell his story, and um, he always gives a hard time to his mom, because when she cooks chicken, he say, you are eating dinosaurs, mom. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, because I were taught that uh, exactly. dinosaurs evolved into birds. Exactly. Yeah. So the mother is a well-educated lady, she's a pharmacist, but she couldn't answer. So he came to my conference, and I explained things to him. And then I have an email from his mom to say, thank you, a million. My, uh, my son now is, is understanding the Bible. And then I had another email after a few days saying, thanks a million again, because his, her son came back from school and said, what's for dinner, mom? She said, dinosaurs with mushroom. He said, mom, stop it. I believe the Bible. I don't believe that anymore. Do you know, Ken, that's worth the, the journey that I took right. to go to visit this yep. young boy. Because yep. we are changing a new generation right. to be basing their thinking on the Word of God and in the proper science, by the way. Because the Word of God is, is, is well, matching well, the proper science. And let me ask you a question. You know, one of the things we find in America and in Australia <laughs> is that most of our seminary profs, Bible college profs, yeah. accept evolution uh, or oh, millions yeah. of years. Yes. Um, the, the, over here in England, even much of the, the, the conservative church yes. here, yeah. most of their leaders oh, accept yeah. millions of years. What about in, in Egypt? Unfortunately, theistic evolution is the dominant way of thinking that God used evolution to create, which is really very sad. That means God didn't get it right first time. And he needs to practice and, and improve the product through death which is an enemy. It's very, very inconsistent. Yeah, yeah. It's very sad, well, but this is the, the main thing. Well, do you know the interesting thing? Yes. If you look at all these people here at the conference here, yes. these people are hungry for truth. Yes. And what I've always said about the Answers in Genesis ministry, look, the leaders, just like we read in the Bible, the shepherds were leading the sheep astray. Now, yeah. there, there are many pastors that stand on yeah. God's Word. I think there's about 100 pastors actually here at this which conference, is yeah. which is really fantastic. But the majority do not stand on God's Word in Genesis. So you know what we've always said? We're going to go out and reach the people. Yes. And revolutions come from the people. Absolutely. And now there are people here who are telling me, because of ARG ministry, they put pressure on their church. They've got them to use our Sunday school material. Wonderful. Or yeah. they're, they're doing a program with kids to yeah. teach them yeah. uh, the things uh, that, yeah. we, that uh, Answers yeah. in Genesis has given them. And I'm finding 
revolution does come from the people, yes. you know? Yes. And it, the Anson Genesis Ministry has a phenomenal impact yeah. on the church in America, yeah. and even over here through these people. Yeah. When Jesus was here on earth, he spoke to the people, not to right. the leaders, really. E exactly. And through that, the, the Christianity and the message was... Isn't it sad, though? It's the leaders that are the problem. Yes. You know, yes. most of your leaders. Yeah, yeah. And that's true in Egypt, right? It, in the all church. over the world. And the same questions and the same problems, it is universal. Universal problem. So, um, Michigan, love AIG and, a and Nagy. Uh, <laughs> oh, so, you. anyway, uh, they're calling people yes. back in here okay. to begin the conference, and right. uh, I'm sure you want to go back for the sure. next session. Thanks so, we're going to uh, end off here and. Uh, Everyone will be back and interview some other people later yes. on. I think Andy McIntosh later today, yes. and uh, maybe uh, someone tomorrow too for the last day of the conference yeah, here. Yeah. So we're signing off here from West Bromwich in Great Britain. <laughs>